U.S. Navy just released an impressive video of two of its aircraft carriers exercising in the Philippine Sea. But a new report from the U.S. government said that these massive floating air bases could be sitting ducks for Chinese missiles. The USS Ronald Reagan and the USS John C. Stennis carrier strike groups conducted high-end dual carrier operations during the training in November, a U.S. Navy statement said. The two carrier strike groups include guided missile destroyers meant to protect the carriers and other important assets which train with the carrier's complex air surface and anti-submarine warfare operations, according to the Navy. The Navy said that the exercise was dedicated to preserving a free and open Indo-Pacific, which has become code for countering Beijing's growing dominance in the South China Sea. But even with two massive carriers, eight other ships, and about 150 aircraft flying overhead, the U.S. government itself strains to believe it can stop China from locking down the region. Now, the report says that if the United States had to fight Russia in a Baltic contingency or China in a war over Taiwan, Americans could face a decisive military defeat, a report from the National Defense Strategy Commission, a bipartisan panel of experts handpicked by Congress to evaluate the 2018 National Defense Strategy. Now, the report goes on to specifically point to China's anti-access aerial denial capabilities or Beijing's ability to use long-range missiles to keep U.S. systems like aircraft carriers out of the combat zone. Now, one thing this report is designed to do is to give the military more funding. So some of the capabilities, quote unquote, of China has been exaggerated. Now, as any military around the world, China boasts of its capabilities. But the facts are China simply steals technology from Russia and United States and even other countries. They can't seem to come up with anything themselves at all. So what do you think? Is China capable 
of sinking any of our aircraft carriers? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.